Ever land on a website and immediately feel like your eyeballs filed a formal complaint? Aye, aye! Neon green background, Comic Sans font, 20 pop-ups asking for your email before you even figure out what the site does, congrats, you've just witnessed the opposite of good design. And yet, becoming a web design guru doesn't mean growing a beard, quoting Steve Jobs, or developing strong opinions about the meaning of white space while sipping overpriced lattes. No, it means understanding tools that actually work and principles that keep your design from becoming a digital horror show. Let's start with the tool that every self-respecting designer has either used or pretended to use, Figma. Figma is like the Google Docs of design, except less soul-crushing. It's free, it runs in the browser, and it lets you collaborate with teammates in real time, which is great when you want someone to comment live, this button is ugly, as you're designing it. You can create wireframes, full UI layouts, prototypes, and even animations if you feel like flexing a bit. And since Figma is basically the industry standard now, learning it is less of a nice to have and more of a you literally can't be hired without it. But great design isn't just about knowing where the rectangle tool is, it's about applying principles like visual hierarchy. That's a fancy way of saying, don't make everything scream at once. If your page has 10 elements all shouting for attention in bold red, congratulations, you've just designed a panic attack. Visual hierarchy helps guide users' eyes. Bigger things catch attention first. Contrast helps elements stand out. And spacing gives breathing room. You want the user to know where to look and when. Think of it like traffic lights for the eyeballs. If the sign up button is smaller than the legal disclaimer, you're doing it wrong. Next up, consistency. Imagine a website where every button is a different shape, size, and color. That's not design, that's chaos with CSS. May chaos take the world! Consistency in design builds trust. Use the same font family across pages, so if you are using a framework like Angular, for example, just define these general rules in teach parent style file. Keep color schemes tight, reuse spacing and layout patterns. If you wouldn't wear plaid pants, a polka dot shirt, and neon Crocs to a job interview, don't do the visual equivalent on your website. Make the experience feel intentional. A user should never feel like the design is having a mental breakdown halfway through their checkout process. All this might sound like a lot, but here's the secret. Web design is just logic dressed up with fonts and colors. You don't need to be a genius or a turtleneck wearing minimalist philosopher. You need to understand the tools, follow the rules until you know when to break them, and remember that design is just communication, minus the awkward small talk. Now if you're thinking, okay cool, I've got Figma and I'm ready to stop gaslighting my users with inconsistent buttons. What else? Glad you asked. Stock up on some bonus tools. You can grab inspiration from Mobbin. Good design matters, even if the pixel police take it too far. That's where Mobbin comes in. I got you, homie! The world's biggest app design library with over 500,000 real-world screens from over 1,200 top apps. Whether you're a designer, PM, or dev, Mobbin helps you find UI inspiration, benchmark competitors, and steal, I mean study, best practices for buttons, forms, layouts, and flows. No paywalls, no endless scrolling, just clean categorized design examples, and even a Figma plugin for instant exports. Oh, and it's free to try. Links in the description. Go get inspired the legal way. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to share and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.